Hey guys, it's Claude Johnson, and in today's guitar lesson, I'd like to wrap up our series on using single notes in between the chords. The last three lessons in this series, we talked about three different methods, including bass note runs, picking patterns, and melodies. This last method I call counter melodies or fills. Uh, basically, it's like tasty little licks that you, uh, that you can throw in in between. Okay, so let's continue on in this lesson with the same chord progression. G, A minor, C, D. And remember the picking pattern. It went like this. So I'm going to use a very similar rhythm. And uh, go ahead and review that picking pattern lesson if you want more detail. I'm going to be playing that rhythm but using notes from the G major pentatonic scale instead of just saying on the chord tones. So I'll explain what that means in just a second. Let me play an example so you can hear how it sounds. So, just as I was doing the picking pattern, now I'm just going to do this. So same rhythm, different notes. And you'll notice it has a different texture because when I'm playing the picking pattern, everything kind of rings out. But when I play this, I'm lifting off. It's very kind of distinct, separate lick versus everything's ringing out. And you're going to get a different tonality by using those scale tones instead of the chords. I mean, the chords are very nice, but it doesn't feel like there's any movement. It's just kind of, you know, picking the notes that are already in the chord. Versus this, it's more of a little counter melody going on there. Okay, so. In this specific example, I'm playing 3rd fret on the high E string, pull off to the open string, and then 3rd fret on the B string. So G, and then A minor chord, C chord, similar pattern, 5th fret to 3rd fret, and then 5th fret on the B string. And then D chord. And you know, whatever chords you're playing, you can create your own pattern. Um, I'm not going to get into which scales go with which chords because it'd be a long conversation. But for this, we're using G major pentatonic, which is also the same notes as E minor pentatonic. If you remember, we covered that in our in the little blues lesson that we did um, a week or two ago. So it's the same scale, but we're ending up on the G. So it doesn't have to be pentatonic. You can throw in any notes or any scale, anything you want. Just use your ear. And also, you don't have to play every chord. Notice that I was just doing a lick on the G chord. No lick on the A chord. Lick on the C chord, and then no lick on the D chord. Another thing to keep in mind, when your melody is on the top string, you can use an upstroke. It makes it easier to hit it. Right? Up that way. Just makes it a little bit easier to transition. So that's the end of this lesson and the end of this little series on using single notes in between the chords. I'm going to have more lessons for you.
coming soon as always. So don't panic, all right? Have an awesome day. Keep rocking the guitar, and I'll talk to you next time.